Hi, I'm Shoshana Chaim, co-host of the Plant Trainers Podcast, helping you improve your quality of life through nutrition and fitness. And most recently on the Plant Trainers Podcast, we've talked about change and how we are, find it hard to maintain our healthy habits during the time of change. And that got me thinking, what about children? What about what can we do to help children through change? So that's why today I wanted to talk about my five ideas to help children cope with change. And number one is prepare them. So sometimes we're gonna change the routine. Sometimes we're gonna change the food that we eat. Sometimes things are changing because there's somebody ill in the family. Try to do the best that you can to prepare your children in advance, but concentrate on the good things. Um, concentrate on all the yummy foods that you will get to eat. Concentrate on how when you move houses, you'll have more room or better trees or different neighbors. Exciting new challenges will come up. Um, travel, all of those things. Concentrate on the positive things. Number two is give kids choice so that they feel like they still have control. One of the reasons why we see kids become picky eaters, one of the reasons why we see kids not want to go to sleep at night or want to choose their clothes and refuse to wear jeans to school is because they feel out of control. They're constantly being told when to wake up, when to get on the bus, what, when to eat, what to eat, when to go to grandma's house, what television stations they're allowed to watch or not watch when they are allowed. So they feel out of control. So when we say, you know what, things are going to be great. We're going to start eating more plant-based now. Would you like me to make brown rice or white rice tonight? Would you like me to make quinoa or brown rice tonight? We're going to be moving to a new home. Do you want to paint your room purple or do you want to paint your room green? Um, all of these things that come up, we're going on vacation. Would you like to pack your own suitcase or would you like help doing it? Giving them control, making them feel like they're still part of the situation even though their normal is changing is really going to help you. That comes from my years as a kindergarten teacher, let me tell you. Number three is Bring in books, bring in documentaries. You know your children best, you know what they can handle. So you might watch a documentary like Forks Over Knives with a teenager to let them understand more about the health benefits of a plant-based diet. You might watch Okja with an eight or 10 year old, but you know your child the best. You need to know if these movies, documentaries, or books really fit in with what they can handle. So I always suggest reading them, watching them, listening to them podcast, whatever it is, to listen to it first so that you can then have a conversation with your child throughout or afterwards and make sure that it's something that they can stomach and that they can handle. Number four is make sure that they have a safe place to talk. Little changes in life like not having white rice anymore might seem small to you, but that might really, really just, you know, make a child's life crumble. So you want to make sure that they are able to talk about it and that you're going to be understanding and you're going to listen and not just yell at them and say eat what I want um, they need to feel comfortable so no matter what this change is make sure if it's not with you it's with somebody else that they have a safe place to talk and number five I want you to expect resistance and I want you to be patient about that and expect that children aren't just always going to say okay don't go into it saying we're going to change things and I know you're not going to be okay with that don't set them up with that vocabulary and that self-talk but if they do resist be patient with them understand that they like consistency they like to know what to expect and they like what they like so whatever it is that we're changing in their world that it might get off to a rocky start so be patient with them and there you have it. There's my five ideas to help kids cope with change. And I hope that as you go through changes and you're on your journey in life, that this is really helpful to you. If you want to know more about the Plant Trainers podcast, check us out at planttrainers.com. You could check us out on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, on Stitcher, wherever it is that you listen to podcasts, you can check us out there and join the conversation. Check us out at Plant Trainers on Instagram, comment on our podcast covers, and let us know what you love best about the podcast this week. Have an amazing day, everybody. Bye.